Hello friends, welcome to Got No Gaming. I'm Stubb, and this is 39 Days to Mars. So 39 Days to Mars is releasing on Steam on April 25th. So that's going to be tomorrow. So uh, if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description down below. Go check it out on Steam. It's going to be $14.99 with a right proper discount on launch week. So the description on Steam says, 39 Days to Mars, a cooperative adventure game set in alternative reality, some 150 years in the past. You play as Sir Albert Wicks and the Right Honorable Clarence Baxter, the two 19th century explorers who are piloting the HMS Fearful, a masterpiece of unreliable engineering. And its maiden voyage to Mars, single player adventuring and puzzle solving can be had as well. With the ship's computer controlled cat there to keep you company. When the steam engine runs out of coal, the ship's aforementioned cat shreds the navigation chart and the tea gets cold. It becomes clear that interstellar transportation isn't a walk in the park and it will take some talent of two working together on a mix of puzzles and action sequences to get Mars in one piece. Let alone in 39 days. Alright, so let's jump on in and check the game out. It is a local co-op, but you can play solo player. So this is a solo voyage here. There's settings controls. So under controls, you'll see that co-op 1, we have like a, B, start. The controls are pretty simple. So you've got, you know, shared keyboard or controller. Or your two controllers are shared keyboard and mouse. Interact mouse. So we're actually doing number one on the keyboard, right? So this is what we're doing. So we're going to play both of them. Let's back out of here. And we're going to go solo voyage. I played a little bit to get a, get a feel for the game. Make sure that the audio is good. We do have... The music on the game is a little bit loud, but it's not adjustable, and I don't want to take it out. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it the way it is. All right, hold left click and space to continue. Okay, let's go. Get in it. In it to win it. I think I shall build a spaceship and explore Mars. Jolly good. Have a nice voyage. All right, because we're going solo. <laughs> so we'll the other guy behind. That's pretty fun. Sometime later. How much time? We don't know. Today we depart. We need nothing except our courage. Well, and we perhaps be... a map. Yeah, the map would be good. All right, so now we just click and click and walk. So let's come to here. And usually, when you interact with something, it seems like you had to hold down. In this case, the left mouse button. And it takes a minute. You see, it fills up, and then it interacts with it. So I can drag it with this. But then I move the paw with W A S and D. So I my mouse is the hand, and my my wazd is the uh, the paw. So if I click this with the space bar, I can then rotate it with the other with the mouse. Then I can grab it in the middle and just move it. Bam! And it snaps in. Aha! So now we have a puzzle. All right. Um, let's see what we can do here. Is this a corner? No, it's, I mean it's a corner. Is it the right corner? The top right corner at that. Let's see. What else we got? Um, I'm guessing this would go over here. Where's my other paw? Paw? Get over here. Now, let's see. Let's grab him here. It is. It's a little goofy operation using the two controls. So that does not work. Let's let's set this aside for a moment, and let's just assume that the octopus goes right side up. This is maybe a bad assumption, but let's assume that it goes in this orientation here, right? Then you move. Doesn't fit. Sure looks like it would. How about down here? Aha! Ah, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now, does that mean which one goes there? Looks like this one will go down there. Like this? No. No. Not that one. This one. 
Come here. Get over here. Down here. Go over here. Grab you. We'll take you. Okay. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with Bisquick. Now let's get let's get this going. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I'm holding. Why does the space bar not want to work? There we go. Now it's working. Hmm. Alright. Oh, well, this looks like it goes here. Aha! It do. Aha! Aha! Okay. We got it. We got this. We got this. Bam! We got a map. Yeah, baby. Doesn't it say something? Ah, there we go. Done. Hooray! Get nice and centered on the, on the screen. We done it. Man, that cat messed that thing up. All right, let's go. Done. That looks good enough. We can sort out the details on the way. Which details? What are you talking about? All right, let's go up here. What is this? It's a fishing rod. It's just long enough to stir a pot of tea without leaving my armchair. I don't think you have an armchair. I'm not, I'm not seeing one. What is this? That is nothing. Oh, what over here? Nothing? I should probably put my fishing rod away before doing this. Oh, okay. Oh, now we got something. What's this? What have we here? Oh, um... Alright. So... To my left control, there's something. Alright, yep, that's, that's the mouse. So we do have... Off, off my keys there. There we go. So that's this guy. Okay, so he doesn't go below this line. Give up. No, never. Oh, I see. So I can't go below this line. I have to do everything from up here. Gotcha. So what does this do? Okay, so this moves this guy. Gotcha. Oh, there's a key. So we want that key that's down there in the bottom right by that light bulb. Oh, and we probably gotta bring it up here. Alright, alright. So now this one, if I hold this, yeah, yeah, okay. If I hold space and I go back and left and right, and that moves this guy. And this one moves this guy. Gotcha. I assume I can't go through this. Oh, I can. Okay. Pick it up. And then just pick it up. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright. Sweet. So I pick it up. Just drag it. Oh, that thing's moving. Oh, okay. I dropped it. I dropped the key. Okay, so up. So I gotta go this way. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Hurry up, hurry up. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Oh no, oh no, you're doing it wrong. You're ruining it for everyone. Why oh, is he up and down works? Gotcha. Seems to drop a little bit as it's going. Alright. Not liking that. Ah! Darn it. Nope. Wrong way. Wrong way. Down. It looks easy. It's not easy. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the key. Drag the key. Drag it. No. Nope. You're. No. Wrong. over here. There we go. Run! Run! It's coming for us! Ah! I had it. I had it. 
Could have been a contender. All right, I got it. I got it. Now we gotta go. Don't you touch me. Are we, hey, we're going, we're going, we're going. I think we, we're doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. We've done it. It's an ornate key made out of cast iron. It is. All right, so we've got a key. Nice. I should unlock the front door now that I have a key. Oh, okay. Let's go unlock the door. Come down here. Is this the... I guess this is the door. So we hold our left mouse button. Bam! We're, we're free! All right, didn't... Wasn't there something up here I wanted to do? This thing. What are you? I put the power source outside, just in case it explodes again. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, don't want too many things exploding in the house. Generally, generally not a good thing. What's over here? Tell me about yourself. What are... Oh, boy. What do we do here? Okay, we have padlocks. This... Okay, this goes down. Oh, I see. This goes down and that goes up. Oh, there's a keyhole. I bet you we have to be inside that slot. Inside, inside that gap. So if we do this, then we probably got to get this on there. How do I pick this up? Oh, okay. That just locks that in place. Gotcha. That's too too far. That ain't far enough. That ain't far enough. So let's do this one. Grab this key. Let's say grab that key. Or no, the key to lock. That one's locked. So I think we need both of these. Oh, no, not. There we go. And then this one. Oh yeah, I think this is right. Right? How do I get, get there? Is that good? Can I just click on this? Oh yeah. Nice. We're it's in. my favorite top hat. Nice. I've got a top hat. Sweet. Right. This was the fishing pole. I don't see nothing else up here. This was the power source. Nothing else out here. Nothing nothing to see here. That was where the fishing pole was at. They got something out here too, right? Okay, can't go out. So I guess we're out of the house. But we're in quite a bit for this episode already. So I think we're going to leave this one off right here for today. And we'll pick it up here in the next one. What was that? What, what is it? Open it. Astronomers and polymaths were yesterday astonished by the pronouncements of William Werewell from Milton. This freshly invented double lens telescope unveiled the deepest mysteries of the heavens and captured the very first view of the wildlife that inhabits the space above us. Glass plates show a vast emptiness punctuated by schools of tiny creatures. They flock and move, seeking escape from larger predators and yet unknown masters. Huh. Space explorers Sir Albert Wikes and Clarence Baxter have been tasked by the Royal Society of Chartered Explorers to attempt the capture of specimens during their next voyage. Really? Yeah, we have? <laughs> this has got news to us, but okay, we need specimens from for the Royal Society of Chartered Explorers. So would it be uncharted explorers, being that we're going into uncharted territory? Okay, anyway, how do I get out of there? There we go. But yeah, I think since we're in pretty good, I think we're going to leave it off right here. And then we'll pick it up here in the next episode where we leave the house and go off into whatever the next stage is going to be. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, see the new stuff as it comes out. Follow the series along. We'll see what happens in the next episode. And let me know what you think of the game. And yeah, as always, we'll see you in the next episode. I'm Stubb. You're awesome.